What up, you guys? Slim here of Team Purple Panda, uh, back with a new video. Um, stand on them daily as much as I can, you know, to get my uh, voice heard and to get my ideas across to the community. Um, this video is going to be uh, in response to the to the Yugi Tuber tag game that uh, big, uh, Team uh, Big Daddy Goyo has going on right now. I don't know if a lot of people have seen it, but uh, I like it. It seems like an interesting idea to get to know uh, Yugi Tubers around the world and just people that you subscribe to and get to know them like on a little different basis. You know, aside from this game, because uh, you know everyone has a lot more going on than this game. So uh, it's basically a tag game and. Uh, I was one of the first people tagged, so I'm trying to stay on uh, efficient time and uh, post a video in response to that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, basically, when you get tagged, you're to answer, I believe, six questions and uh, tag five other Yugi tubers, and uh, they're to do the same. And you post the rules and everything in uh, your video description. And uh, you know, I like this idea because, uh, like Adrian said, you know, this is this ain't a time you know bash on players and you know talk shit, you know. Uh, you know, I've already been over that. I don't know how many times I got to say it. You know, you're going to talk shit. You know, you know, say it to someone's face. You know, don't be a bitch. You seen Slim Rat 3, don't be a bitch. Uh, that's one of the main reasons it's called that. Uh, so I'm going to get into this right now um, and start with the questions. I wrote them down on the side here, so hopefully I don't uh, mess up too bad. Okay, uh, question one was uh, who or what first got me into the game? Um, I can probably say it's uh, some of the friends I had uh, back in elementary school uh, around fifth, sixth grade uh, when the game first came out. Because I was, uh, I played like all the games. Well, not really played them, but collected uh, Pokemon, Digimon, all of those uh, games. And um, I heard about this one, and I didn't know at first what to think about it. I told my friend, you know what, whatever, dude. You know, you want to give me a deck? Go ahead. So he brought me a Kaiba deck, and I was like, oh shit, this dragon looks kind of cool with a blue eyes white dragon. So I was like, all right, whatever. And then uh, he said, you want to learn how to play, you know, watch the show. And, I mean, I didn't realize then that, you know, that ain't the way to learn this game at all. Like, the game is so different in real life compared to what the show portrays, like, in the first season. So, uh, yeah, so that's what got me into the game. Uh, uh, my friend said, you know, why the hell not? Why not play? And that's what I did, and I haven't looked back since. Um, my favorite archetype and why, um, uh, probably Gravekeepers right now, uh, I'm running Gravekeepers. Um, I like them because they're consistent. They're consistent, they have a lot of effects, and, um, they're just a really competitive deck, I think. They really don't have really bad matchups, maybe aside from Grave uh, Gladiator Beasts. That might be one of the hard matchups, or depending on, you know, how you open, how you play. I think it's a solid archetype, and, uh, I recommend people playing it, uh, if they haven't tried it already. Let's see, question three, funniest thing that ever happened to me while playing in a game or tournament. Uh, it was probably, probably YCS Anaheim. Um, I didn't do so hot at YCS Anaheim. I made the mistake of running the wrong deck. Uh, I ran Fish, F, uh, Fish OTK, and uh, I just, uh, it was a bad choice. Probably should have ran Samurais. And uh, I was playing an Infernity player. And uh, we had gone to game three. I won game one, game two he beat me. Uh, game three, we're in game three. And uh, we're going to time, and I think everyone knows time works. Uh, you get like five turns or something like that, and the person with the most points wins at the end, or if you beat your opponent in those five turns. Um, we've gotten down to, I believe, like the last like two turns, or it might have been like that. And I'm able to pull off Giant Trunade and go into Qualicanth, Um and uh, go off into my two Oyster Meister, two Fishborg, into what was then legal, the Colossal Arms uh, OTK. It's no longer legal here, uh, which kind of sucks. I understand why, especially with the, how the timing works out, but uh, I kind of miss it because it was a really fun way to win. Uh, and I go, and I uh, t he has no barriers, uh, clearly, because he didn't use one to stop Trunade, which usually means endgame for most players. And uh, I go, you know, Colossal Arms, and I'm like, attack, attack that's game uh, and what ends up happening before I take that back is I go you know summon armory arm um, summon colossal fighter and I go attach and just as I'm finishing to say the word attach this fool raises his hand and yells out hello loud judge like it's like a dire crisis the judge comes over and he's like he made an illegal move and I'm looking at the judge, and he's saying, what happened? And I'm like, I'm going to the Colossal Arms OTK judge. I'm going to equip my army arm to his monster. I'm going to attack it twice with Colossal, and I'm going to win, right? And the judge said yes. The guy was pissed. Uh, he lost, and he signed the sheet, like, really quickly. And, like, before I could even, like, say good game or anything, because, you know, I, I'm nice like that. I like to... 
you know, tell people good game, you know, I had fun playing or whatever, you know, I try to be nice. The guy just fucking gets up, like, throws down his chair and just walks out, and I was like, wow, you know, you're just a douchebag, you know, like, get out of this game, you're, you're terrible, you know, like, if you have that kind of attitude, so, I thought that was pretty funny, because I was like, wow, dude, you know, <laughs> you kind of suck for that, not that you're a bad player, you're just, uh, you're just a bad person, so, uh, yeah, go to anger management or some shit. Uh, let's see here, question four, what I do outside of the game, uh, well, I go to school, I'm in college, uh, yeah, if you guys ever come through to San Francisco State, we play there every once in a while, uh, we're around wineries and all those different stores in, uh, Daly City, so, there's that, uh, I go to the gym, I work out, I'm a, I'm a gym major, so, uh, PE major, so I like to stay in shape, be healthy, uh, let's see, I like to party, not gonna lie, I like to party, uh, I like to do some other things that, uh, I don't think for the safety of my channel, I should say, probably allowed, those of you that know me, you know why, uh, you know what, you know what I do, um, yeah, uh, I just have, I have a pretty chill life, I like to shop too, I don't know if people notice, but every time I make a video, I probably got a different fitted on, I got, I got so many fitteds, I'm not even gonna get into it, I like to shop for hats, kicks, everything, uh, I like to stay, just, I don't know, up to date on fashion and stuff, and, uh, yeah, I just like to have a chill time, and kick it with everybody, I like to play this game, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I like, and I like to make these videos. So uh, that's what that's what I like to do. Let's see. Uh, question five: Yugi Moto, Jaden Yugi Yusei Fudo. Um, I'm probably gonna go with Jaden because uh, you know Yugi was cool, but you know he was just a little wimp until he turned into the Pharaoh, and I was like, man, you didn't have that puzzle. You know, you slacking like you got like no game or anything. You know, you couldn't even uh, get a date with what's her face. Uh, the spirit had to do it for you, so I mean that that was pretty kind of lame on Yugi's part. Uh, you say you say is just weird. I mean, uh, I don't know, like you know, he kind of likes a keezer or whatever. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I don't know. I I wasn't feeling you say that much, you know. You know, his deck was cool and shit, but you know he had like dumbass luck. You know, all the all these main characters do so. Uh, I'm not feeling you say. Jaden, though, was the chill dude. Jaden was like, man, I don't care about school. I don't care about this. I just want to play. And I'm like, I'm totally down with that. I totally can agree with that. And, you know, he uh, yeah, he did some good shit. I mean, E-Heroes were dope. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, when I first saw him play Miracle Fusion, I was like, yeah, some good shit. So, uh, yeah, definitely Jaden uh, for me. Let's see. So, if I could play any duelist, you YouTuber character from the Anime World Champion. Uh, I personally like to play um, Angel Flores. Uh, he's won two YCSs, San Jose and uh, YCS Anaheim. Um, mainly him, because he's just a really good player. Uh, and, you know, he makes smart moves, really smart deck ideas, deck choices. And he's just, you know, down to earth. And he's not a cocky, like, jackass. He's like, you know, I had the most luck this day. You know, I played my best and I won. You know, like, that ain't being cocky. That's being honest. And, you know, as a fellow player, you know, I respect that. I respect that you realize you make good moves and you're not afraid to admit it. You're not going to cover it up and say, oh, I did okay. You know, you're proud of what you did. So uh, I respect him and that would probably be the person I would play uh, if I got the chance. Hopefully, one of these days it happens. Uh, if not, you know, I'll just keep playing everybody till I get till I get to the top myself. Uh, so yeah, those are the six questions. I gotta tag five people. Um, I'm not gonna say who I'm gonna tag like straight up in this video. I'm gonna put their uh, their names like in the description. I'm just thinking maybe at the top of my head, I might go dueling prodigies. Uh, Queso, you've already been tagged. I might tag you again. Uh, Lee, I know you're too busy. I'm not gonna tag you. Uh, Unless you got the time, but uh, I'll tag uh, Team Smallville, um, a couple other teams that uh, subscribe to me uh, overnight. So uh, I'll uh, put you guys in the description, and uh, hopefully you uh, you're down with this. I mean, I think this is a chill out, a chill idea. You know, if you're gonna hate on this. I mean, seriously, like you know, I mean, I don't even got to start. Like seriously, it's been said before. You know, you we just drop hate buster on your ass because you know it's. You know, don't be stupid. You know, have fun. This is where, like, part of the whole U YouTube thing is having fun. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's the six questions for Slim uh, for the tag. I guess I was it, and I guess I have to pass along the tag. So I'm going to tag uh, Dueling Prodigies next. So you guys are up. Uh, and, one, and once again, thank you, Dueling Prodigies, uh, especially you, CJ, and Nima, for uh, doing my, my background and stuff. I don't know if anyone noticed, but my channel changed last night. Uh, I had them, uh, you know, up it for me because, I mean, I'm so new to this. I don't really know what I'm doing. 
and I wanted them to, you know, make my profile a little more, you know, appealing to people, and, you know, hopefully that gets me more subs, so we'll see how it all works out, uh, but yeah, till then, um, uh, and that's the answers to my, to the six questions, I'll be posting a couple more videos today, I got a, I have a Nationals thing to discuss, uh, thanks to Nima, so I'll be dropping that, uh, pretty soon, and, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it, so, uh, yeah, uh, Team Big Daddy Goyo, I like this game, and, you know, I hope it's successful like you all do, and uh, that's it, Slim signing out, thank you for watching.